Welcome to our first project walkthrough. In these lessons, we'll work through some real life work scenarios start to finish to apply the skills that we just learned in a more specific context. As usual, there's a template so you can duplicate our end product into your workspace and get to customizing more quickly. For today's project, we'll put ourselves in the shoes of a business leader who is rolling out a new process to their team. In this case, the process is a new way of doing performance reviews, but the work we'll do here could apply to any kind of standard operating procedure that you needed to put in place for your team. For today's case, instead of your old ad hoc system of reviews with promotions available only in December, you'll be doing two review cycles every six months using a new HR platform called Reviewer. Your employees need to know how to access the platform as well as what's expected from them over the coming weeks. Creating a living document in Notion that exists alongside the rest of your company information and that can be updated as needed means that this important document won't get lost in the bottom of people's inboxes and become outdated over time. To get started, we'll add a page to the private section of our sidebar. We'll get into sharing settings in much more detail later, but for now, just remember that anything you add here won't show up in your team spaces section or in collaborator shared sections until you intentionally move or share it. For that reason, it's a great space to draft content and iterate on your own ideas. To start our SOP, we'll build out the document structure, starting with the best part, adding a title, and picking our emoji. I'll go ahead and title this Acme Performance Review Process, and then we can select an emoji. I like this flag here, but you can always choose something that feels aligned to your internal brand, whether that's an emoji, uploaded image, or an icon. Now getting to the meat of it. We'll add text by typing, starting with a title heading and filling out the doc with a few important H2s and H3s. You can use Markdown to add that text structure here, so we'll do a quick overview section as H1, add purpose, context, and terminology headings as H2, and then we'll include another H1 with the review process and an H2 for the schedule. Then we can start to fill in specific details about the rollout. So I'll add everything that I just typed about this being an important new procedure, fill in a little bit of the purpose, and go ahead and add a simple table that explains what's happening for the weeks and days leading up to the new performance reviews. If I had any additional documents like a Loom video or a Typeform survey, I'd want to embed those here as well. This is another advantage of using Notion over a more traditional note-taking app. All of these block types means that information stays on the page rather than sending readers out to lots of different apps. Finally, I'll create a toggle with references like our company's total rewards philosophy, leveling framework, and whatever else I wanted to add. And there you have it. This is a structured document full of helpful blocks that will make the rollout to your team as smooth as possible. 